Nothing fuck here. Oh my god, I'm so. F oh my god, look, legit goosebumps. Oh my god. What the fuck is that? A mysterious video was filmed by a real estate agent who was touring a property for sale. Apparently, something very freaky was caught on camera. Take a look. After watching the video, the real estate agent was shocked to see that someone was in the house. They don't recall ever seeing anyone else inside, but apparently, based on the footage, someone was there. Or, so it seems. Looking at the video again, it appears that whoever this was just suddenly disappears. As quickly as they appear, they vanish without a sign. Although it's unknown what the agent thinks, viewers believe that something paranormal was caught on camera. But of course, I'll leave it to you to decide if that's so. Just who or what was inside this house? A window to the soul. So this is a story that starts weird and just gets weirder. But first, a little bit of history. Way back in 1679, Irish Catholic priest Oliver Plunkett was arrested for supporting the Catholic faith, which at the time was considered a serious criminal offense by the English monarchy. He was held in Newgate Prison in London before being executed. And so here's where things get really weird. Over 240 years later, in 1921, Oliver Plunkett's head, yes, just his head, was brought to St. Peter's Church in Drawheda, Ireland, where it was put on display in a garish, ornately decorated glass box. The St. Peter's Church also placed on display the prison door of Oliver Plunkett's jail cell from Newgate Prison where Plunkett was held for eight months before his execution. YouTube user Vicky Bramshaw was on vacation when she visited St. Peter's Church in Drogheda, Ireland. She is recording the exhibit of Oliver Plunkett's jail cell door when she catches something absolutely unnerving. This is the door of the cell in Newgate Prison where St. Oliver Plunkett was in prison for eight months. Is there any most interesting figure? He was, he was one of the first ecumenical Christian priests. There is a small opening in the ancient jail cell door, and some pale, ghostly face just seems to peek out of it at them. Vicky says she has no idea what this face could be. She says she has no knowledge of visual effects to fake something like this, and she didn't even notice the face until she reviewed her footage later. So is this the ghost of Oliver Plunkett still peering from his old jail cell door? Or is it just a very, very odd trick of the light? You decide. He was making his way back home when he hears this. A man by the name Daniel explains that while he was making his way back home, he began to hear the cries of a woman coming from inside a public restroom. Yo, what the? As Daniel goes inside, the voice can be heard even louder, but he doesn't find anyone. Bro. There's nobody in here. Now 
Now, after posting this haunting and mysterious video, Daniel didn't notice, but as he pans the camera towards the mirror, the silhouette of a woman can be seen staring at him. Daniel explains he has no idea what exactly happened here. Did Daniel truly witness a real kidnapping near the area, or is this mysterious event something paranormal? Let me know your thoughts. Nadine and her daughter are watching cartoons when this was captured. Blakey, you, know, you okay? There's nothing you can do or say to change that. I love you. Do you want me to go open the door? Why? Oh. No? Sucks for you. Okay. Okay, I, I'm honestly freaking the f*** out and I don't know what to do. Just a couple minutes ago, I got up and I closed my door hey. because she kept pointing hey. to my room saying, yeah, Mommy, Mommy, right. someone's over there. Yes, but and and she was terrified. She, she, was, she was terrified, of course, freaking me out. So I went over there and she just said, No, Mommy, come here. Come here, Mommy. Sit, sit, Mommy. Don't go over there. And so I called the dog and I closed the door. And as you can see, Blakey. Mommy's gonna go open the door, okay? I'll be right back. It's okay. I'll be right back. It's okay, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, tell me I'm not... At approximately 1 in the morning, a truck driver was driving down a road that not many drivers take for a certain reason. It is said that driving down this road is dangerous, as many accidents have occurred here before, and tragically, some of those accidents were fatal. Because of this, some believe that the road is cursed and should therefore be closed down permanently. But most drivers, like the one in this video, can find an alternate route to their destination. They have no choice but to take this one. On August 18 of 2023, Gaston Rodriguez and his co-driver were taking this route when something pretty creepy happened. The two drivers are listening to some cheerful music to make their commute less frightening, when out of nowhere, they capture this. Down the road, there appears to be a moving figure darting across the dirt path before suddenly disappearing from sight. It seems that neither driver had noticed the mysterious figure during this recording, but it was after watching this clip that they were left totally spooked. Who, or whatever this is, just seems to come out of nowhere and then vanish before crossing over to the road. Knowing the history of this route and the fatal accidents that have happened here, some believe that this might have been the spirit of a deceased victim who is still roaming about. But whether ghost or not, the footage alone is pretty strange. Just how exactly did this mysterious figure disappear from sight? Like most videos, there has yet to be a definitive answer as to what was captured in this footage. In this next video, a group of friends are exploring a large parking lot filled with buses that are no longer in use. Each bus, according to them, is defunct, 
But the reason they're here isn't just to look at old buses, but instead to see if anything strange happens while being there. Rumor has it, the property is haunted. The Soyopongo district in El Salvador, where these buses are located, has seen a lot of creepy things on this property. From shadow figures that look like passengers sitting down inside a bus, to a bus that occasionally honks its horn late at night, residents avoid coming here at all costs. But to Henry Portillo and his friends, this was a perfect spot for some excitement. Although fun at first, things got serious. While talking to a neighbor who lives right next to the parking lot, this happens. Just when the group was beginning to have doubts about the place, they see this. The tail light on the bus is somehow turned on. After checking to see if there might be anything to explain this, they find nothing. Although it could be that only certain parts of the bus work, they found it creepy that this happened out of nowhere in a place that is said to be haunted. Not really sure how to explain this and feeling a bit spooked, the group walks away and explores the rest of the town. But when looking back at the buses from far away, they see this. The silhouette of a dark figure stands next to a bus. It appears to stand in place without moving an inch. Seeing this was enough to make everyone's blood run cold. This unusual figure had a very uncanny quality. Upon seeing this, the group knew it was time to leave. The video ends with the group heading out, but it's unknown if they went back down to the buses before they left. Given this clip, they most likely stayed away. The group certainly thinks that they caught a ghost on camera or something like that. But as with most videos, what was captured remains a mystery.